Okay, the problem that we have here at this point is we're going to be actually solving for x and y at a rhombus. We're told that the length of Tn is equal to 5x plus y, Qn is equal to 4x plus 2y, Nr is equal to 22, and Ns is equal to 20. Now the first thing we'll do is we'll look at the rhombus itself and remember one basic thing is the diagonals are going to bisect each other or cut each other in half. So the simple thing would be to do is to place these values above into the rhombus itself and solve for x and y. Now the first thing we'll notice is we've got qn or actually tn is equal to 4x or 5x plus y. So tn equals 5x plus y is our first step. So we're going to go 5x plus y We'll write that down over here. And then that's equal to, and we'll look at the rhombus again once again up here, we have so that Tn is 5x plus y is equal to Nr, which is 22. So we set that equal to 22. The next step we're going to take is we've got Qn is equal to 4x plus 2y, and we're going to set that equal to and s, which is equal to 20. So in this case, we're going to come down here. We're going to go 4x plus 2y is equal to 20. And make our 4 look like a 4, not some other strange looking object there. There we go. Now, the basic thing we got to remember now is this. We've actually got two choices in which we can solve for x and y. We can solve for x and y by substitution or by addition subtraction. The simple thing will be to do is to actually solve this by addition subtraction is we're going to actually go ahead and we're going to get rid of one of the variables. Or a better way of putting it is to make one of the variables uh, the same coefficient but opposite sign. We've got a 5 here and a 4 here. We've got a 1 here and a 2 here. The simplest thing would be to do is to actually get rid of the coefficients in front of y first is our first step. So in order to do that, we're going to get a 2 down here. We're going to make the top coefficient for y negative 2, which means we're going to multiply the entire equation on the top by negative 2. So the first thing we'll go is we're going to get negative 10x is e uh, plus negative 2y is equal to negative 44. So we'll write down below 4x plus 2y is equal to positive 20. Now we can actually solve this by adding these things up. So we add the numbers going down. We're going to get negative 10 plus 4x is going to give you negative 6x on the left-hand side. The y variables subtract out, and we're going to end up with a negative 24 on the right-hand side. Now, the next thing we're going to do is we're just going to go ahead and divide through by negative 6. We're going to find out that x is equal to positive 4. Now, to solve for y, all we got to do is take our value of x being 4 and substituting it back into one of our two of our equations up here at the top. It doesn't make it any difference which one you choose. It's up to your own personal preference. So, for example, in this case here, let's choose 5x plus y equals 22. So I'm going to come over here and write that over again. 5x plus y is equal to 22. I substitute the value of x back in as 4, so I'm going to get 5 times 4 plus y is equal to 22. I then come up with 20 plus y equals 22. I'm going to get y is equal to positive 2. So for our problem here, we've actually solved for x and y. We've got x equaling 4 and y equaling positive 2.